favorite week of the year, Teacher Appreciation Week. Hey friends, if you're new here, my name is Stevie and I'm a full-time teacher, part-time YouTuber, just trying to live the best life possible. It's a whole new world. I pride myself in being as realistic as possible so you won't find a completely white house or super aesthetic drink glasses. But what you will find is a 30-something trying to be happy and healthy. To get you up to speed, I've been focusing on my health for the last nine months and went from this to this. I focus on a realistic approach to weight loss, so you'll see me eat bread and all the other yummy carbs life has to offer. I went from being too afraid to walk into the gym to deadlifting over 150 pounds. If any of this interests you, I invite you to stick around, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much. Look, look, we got donuts. I know, I know. I might eat one though. We got coffee. Definitely gonna eat that. We got vibes. Oh, we got a salt lamp over there. Let me tell you, my principal, she knows how to do it. She knows how to do it. I am blessed. Orange juice? Mmm. Look at that pink donut. You see that? What's in there? I don't I don't wanna be pink. What if I just got a couple of donut holes? <laughs> Later. Ah, when I tell you how excited I am that I remembered I had a protein bar in my bag that I haven't eaten yet, you know that you're in a calorie deficit because wow, I almost, I literally almost sniffed this through the wrapper. That's how hungry I am. <laughs> we almost had a, a repeat of sausage gate, except protein bar gate. Hungry, hungry. Hello, my sweet. Mm. I'm about to get nasty with this bar. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So I had a donut today. Adjusted my calories accordingly. And that's like another thing that, that eating a lot at work helps with because then if donuts show up, which is not very often, that's why I ate one. I love donuts. Donuts are always a hell yes to me. So when they show up at work, I always eat one because I never buy donuts for myself, you know? And um, it's really stressful working here. So I'm gonna eat a donut. Like, yeah, I showed up to work. Let's eat some donuts. Let's eat a donut. Guys, Panera's closed. Look, there's nobody there. What am I gonna do? Am I supposed to go home and make my own coffee like a peasant? Wait. I have a $5 Target gift card and that can be used in the Starbucks there. Now it's not gonna give me an entire cup of coffee, I don't think, but it will give me most of a cup of coffee and I have a couple dollars in my glove box. Anybody else view cash as free money? Like I, we never use cash. So whenever I like have it in my truck or whatever, I usually always have a couple bucks in my truck. Um, it's like, oh, I can go get this thing because it's free. Anybody at all? But I don't ever, like like I said, I don't ever use gas. So maybe I should start. I don't know. But we're going to go in and get a cold brew, maybe a nitro brew. Something not super high in calories though because I don't have it because I eat a donut. And then we're going to go home and we're going to edit Wednesday's video. Look at these bags. Oh, it's been a day. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. I got five dollars. Well, ten dollars. Limping my happy ass into Target to get that coffee. Hello. Hello. May I please have a nice show cold brew? Of course. Uh, grande? Grande. Any more of that black? Black. Dang it. That's how I feel when I don't have a quarter when I go to Aldi. <laughs> I know, right? Where's the quarters? What do you mean? It's like, well, I guess I can't go to Aldi. <laughs> I don't have a quarter. <laughs> we are in possession of the package. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, it could be a little colder. That's 
It's good enough though. I feel life coming back into my soul. <sighs> okay, so five calories. I can work with it. And yes, I'm gonna track it. We are off leash. Come here, come, come. We're off leash training. Sit, hey, come sit. Good boy. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Simon, sit. Stay. Stay, Simon. Okay. This is really hard to do. Nah, ah, 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 sit. Stay. 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 Good boy. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back. Come on. <laughs> we don't have a ball because Butch ate all of them. Sit. Yes. That is such a good boy. Yes. Good boy. Sit. Hey. Sit. Down. Down. Good boy. So I don't ever use like the shock. The shock is uh, for like, say, Butch gets in a fight with a dog. That's when we use the shock. Or if he doesn't respond, I don't ever use the shock with, ah, 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 down. I don't ever use the shock with Simon. There's a vibrator, but mostly just the sound and that's enough for him to like, cor correct. You ready? Stay, stay, stay. Nope, come back. Sit. Now, good boy, go get it. Good boy, come here. Come here. Oh, he's like, no, I'm good. I'm good. This is the first time we've really done off the leash training, and I think we're going to do it like every day because this is great for him. I love this so much. Just uh, hanging outside. Looks like it's going to rain, but I'm enjoying my mortgage, you know, getting the most out of it. The boys are out here with me and I had to mow the dang grass again because like we had to have it on the highest setting because it was so overgrown because I was trying to fix the riding mower. So I went and I redid like the thickest parts. has to rev his engine like five times before he leaves every single time One. oh he does this all hours of the night it's so annoying but uh i'm just enjoying oh i think caitlin's just enjoying the view of my freshly mowed grass and I'm not even done because I still have to do the garden bed that we really need to landscape like if I could have went back in time and said Stephanie you don't want to do you don't want this big yard you don't want it look at all this landscaping I would have not bought this house because the landscaping is a pain in the butt like we need to just and we're doing that this summer like we're not going anywhere <sighs> We're being good homeowners and we're staying here and we're getting a new roof and maybe landscaping some of this. We need to redo the retaining wall. Man, being an adult is no fun. I miss the days where all of our disposable income went to dog food and vacations. Like, come on. But that's the plan for right now. I don't know what's for dinner. I'm thinking pork chops. But we're just gonna chill out on the patio for a little while and enjoy the beautiful weather. We grilling. All right, dinner is done. We got pork chop. We got six ounces of pork chop, potatoes, and a garden salad with light ranch on it. 
and uh, keep it simple. Uh, this is pretty much the plan for the week. Meat, vegetable, maybe a starch. It's okay to eat starches. Helps fill you up, right? Potatoes are such a great, like, low calorie, high volume food. And I remember growing up and people are like, well, stop eating potatoes. No, I'm good. I'll eat the potatoes. But this is what I like to eat when I don't want to really think about food. Just super simple, some grilled meat, a nice salad, air fried potatoes. Day two. So I'm currently editing tomorrow's video. So my one and only memory card, I know, I know, I'm playing with fire. The other one just broke. I need to get a new one. Um, is in my computer right now. Actually, I don't need it in my computer. Oh well, I need to get this done. And I'm having those chicken Gouda burgers that we got at Sam's Club. These come in clutch. Like, I love these so much. They come in packs of two patties. And I think there's like four four or five um, little packs in there. And they're so easy to hit, heat up. And look, they are true convenience food. Because if I didn't bite my nails off because of anxiety, I could get this. But it is truly an easy open. Unlike that convenience food we had last week boo and you just pop it in Ooh. Ooh. and there you go um they're like i think 18 grams of protein a burger 180 calories it's beautiful this is how busy i am i gotta i i'm just i'm i can hear it sizzle so if anything runs awry i can run in there but i have to edit while cooking dinner and i usually eat while i edit too that's how much i love hanging out with you guys like don't ever ever question our friendship because you know how much time i spend with you guys a week probably 10 hours this is a legit part-time job at this point and i'm here for it i love it it's my passion i love you guys i am so blessed but don't take this the wrong way i'm a little too busy i can't talk to you right now because i need to edit so you guys have entertainment in the morning okay real quick here's dinner we got potatoes. Look how I, I cut them, right? It's that cutter linked down below if you're interested. I use it like every day. Honestly, having two is a, is a godsend. And then those chicken burgers and then a salad kit. Mm. Oh, back to editing. Day three. Never gonna be president now, never gonna be president now. Well, hello. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Off of work, had a good day. I should have not worn these shorts to work. They're way too big, much too big for me. And I didn't wear a belt. I had to get a zip tie. I zip tied them like they, hey, they fit okay until I bent over once and they stretched out just the tiniest hair. Girls, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about when you put on a pair of pants and they stretch out just the tiniest, tiniest bit and then all of a sudden they don't, they're too big, right? I'm taking our little duster and I'm just going around the edges of the room picking up like fluff or things that Georgina, our housemaid, just can't get. Um, she has a hard time with fluff and stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now, dinner before we go to the gym is this giant taco baked potato. Giant. So much volume in this meal. And like the calories are not that much. Um, I don't know exactly, I don't have it memorized, but this is about 600 calories. And it's just like, you don't have to always use low carb tortillas. You can use a potato and have tacos a taco night so this was the only thing i filmed of this workout because i just wasn't feeling it and i wanted to just chill and listen to my book or my music i don't even remember what i was listening to but i was just trying to like fall in love with working out again because i've been in a huge funk hey we just got done with our workout and the clouds are not looking great but look I had to show you guys. It's a rainbow. Look how pretty the rainbow is. Double rainbow. Not really, but we're, there's only, oh wait, I think it's, it's right there. You can't see the double rainbow, but look, 
a rainbow. God is smiling that we're back in the gym, like, you know, back on our good-ish. So, yay. Day four. <laughs> Yeah, I'm exhausted. I think this might be the lowest point I've had in a minute, in a, in a while, in at least maybe a month. I'm feeling really ran down, but not in like a sick kind of way, like an emotional and like also physical. I, f I feel like my body is just like tensing up and I'm losing mobility and I'm just feeling just really not good I'm feeling mentally not good like I'm feeling super depressed the last few days super unmotivated um, and not just like the gym like I went to the gym last night but like and when I was lifting weights like something popped in my wrist and now I'm like, I'm constantly having like a nerve pain. And like, I just feel like I'm getting injury after injury after injury. And I haven't gone, I've actually gone down on weights on a lot of things. So I don't know if it's my carpal tunnel acting up and lifting that weight aggravated it. Like I know part of it is because I've, this is gonna be, this is my fourth week on a calorie deficit. So I'm sure I'm feeling effects from that. But also, any teacher knows this time of year is... It's like... It's like you're in a boat with a big old hole in it and you're trying to bail out the water, but water just keeps coming in. But there's nothing you can do but just bail out the water. And you just can't stop or you die. I feel like that's teaching in May. And um, I'm just I'm experiencing like mental fatigue. Um, you know, I just, it's really hard. It's so hard. And I know y'all keep telling me how strong I am and how amazing I'm doing. But y'all, it's really hard. There's, it's been raining like constantly. I'm sure that's part of the mental problem. My seasonal depression, you know. I I think for the first time since July, the thought of quitting, trying to lose weight, and trying to get healthier, like that has crossed my mind. It, it has. Um, because I just feel like I keep getting sick. I keep getting injured. Like is it even worth it and it is like i have to get the weight off of me because my knee is like i have arthritis in my knee i'm 35 next week the 17th if anyone was asking <laughs> but i know getting this weight off would be like a whole new world i know i had to do it i had to do it i haven't done it in a while I haven't done it in a while i have to sing for my people we're going to get our hair cut right now because the sides are a little, they a little thick. <laughs> but I don't even, I can't even grip the steering wheel right now. So today is gym day. I'm not lifting weights. I don't want to get on a bike. It hurts my booty. I can't really do the stair stepper or uh, the treadmill because my knee. So I'm going to swim. I'm going to swim slow i'm not gonna push it i just want to move my body that is my goal is just to move my body i might just be floating in the therapy pool for a while i think that would do my body some good i think that being 286 pounds even though today i was really 287 pounds but two being 287 pounds um it's a lot of strain on your body when you go, 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 go. And, you know, I got to mow the grass. I mowed the grass twice, trying to fix the mower. 
trying to clean up after the pups and clean up after myself and make dinner and you know we've had this discussion like a million times right and I know you guys know what I'm feeling and some days you just can't and that's okay and I know that goes against I think there's a fine line there's such a fine line of pushing yourself because you're disciplined and giving yourself grace because you need rest because I used to be in a point where I never gave myself rest because I felt like that was weak I was making excuses. I was being lazy. My father was very lazy. Um, and I was always afraid of being like my my father. I That's like my default, I think, is just being lazy, like being a couch potato. I've said that before. But now that I'm more active and stuff, like I have to be super conscious about resting because my whole life I've neglected my body. I have. You know, I could give you a million and one excuses as to why that happened. But in reality, I didn't do what I needed to take care of my body. Whether I was not given the skills as a child to do so, it ran into adulthood. But at that time, when I'm fully, my brain is fully developed, the responsibility for taking care of myself is on me. And I didn't do that until really September, you know? So, 34 years of my life, or July, not September, 34 years of my life, I didn't really move much. I never ate right. Um, so, it makes sense that my body is kind of falling apart right now, and I need to just slow down and let it rest, you know? Because this isn't, this isn't like a short-term thing. Right now, I, I am in the Next Level Shred with Nicole Burgess, link down below, uh, if you're interested. Really good program. Love it. I love the community. It's great. But in eight weeks, me trying to be the healthiest, happiest person, you know, working out and stuff, that's not going to end. It's going to keep going. It's the rest of my life. And some, some times in my life, I'm going to have to slow down and let myself heal. And I really need to do that. Now, what does that look like? Does that look like just laying on the couch and watching TV every night? No. But I think that's getting myself to the gym and just floating in the therapy pool. Um, or doing uh, laps or walking. Water walking? I don't know what it's called. I think I might cool it on the weights for a while and just focus on stretching and moving like I need to stretch I know I need to stretch I hate stretching but I need to stretch I think that's part of the problem I need to drink more water I'm horrible at that I try so hard but like it's okay this one is not an excuse it is the reality of my profession I unfortunately cannot leave my children alone it is liability. And I know teachers have left their children alone a million times. And, you know, like when you were a kid, you probably got left alone. A teacher made one of the kids the policeman or whatever, right? I can't do that with my kids because they... I just can't do that with my kids. Um, and I have an overactive bladder. I just, I just do. So, either... I'm gonna cry thinking about it honestly because it's like when your basic needs can't even get met at your job and people wonder why there's a teaching shortage like you can't even go to the bathroom when you need to um, I, I physically cannot go to the bathroom multiple times in an hour if I'm if I'm fully hydrated I could go to the bathroom two to three times an hour I, I can't do that as a teacher I, I just can't so I try my best to chug a bunch of water after school but then during school I'm dehydrated and that just is not good for you it's not good for your body and I just I don't really know what the solution is for that I could get a doctor's note but 
I mean, there still has to be somebody to come relieve me, which unfortunately, the school system is so understaffed, there isn't anyone a lot of the times. Um, I walked my kids to another classroom. You know, that's an option sometimes, but again, it's not an option two to three times an hour. This is the reality of my job. And it's, sometimes it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to process. I don't wanna be a Debbie Downer, I'm sorry guys. I'm also PMSing, I'm late. I don't know if that's TMI, but this is like a weight loss channel and part of weight loss, you know, your hormones affect that, women's health, right? I'm late. And I'm really annoyed about it because I just want to get it over with. I am definitely having PMS and that side of that side of uh, the Shark Week, you know. But it's not actually the main event has not showed up yet, and I'm just waiting. But that's how I'm feeling today. I'm sorry that it's a little Debbie Downish, but it's. Y'all are here for the real life side of it because I think you find some comfort in that, you know? I know I find comfort when I see somebody on the television going through similar things I'm going through. I don't feel so alone, right? But, you know, we got this and it's okay to take a step back. And I think it's time for me to take a step back. That doesn't mean I'm going to go out and eat McDonald's every day. It just means we got to listen to our body and make informed decisions on the, I, I bet that's really annoying, I'm sorry, the best decisions for us, you know. <sighs> what a bummer, man. Uh, they have like free bagels every day, like one every day for the next like three weeks or whatever. So I go over there to pick our drinks up and they're like, uh, there's, we're sold out of bagels. And the only ones they had left were sesame bagels. Like who, they had a lot of sesame bagels left. Maybe they shouldn't sell them anymore. Um, so he was like, what could I get instead? And I was like, well, crap, I don't know. Cause like, so I was like a scone and he's like, how about four scones? He gave me all the scones that were left. I have an entire bag of scones. Like normally I'd be like, look at all this free food, but I'm in a calorie deficit. You can't just give a girl free scones on a calorie deficit. What am I supposed to do with all these scones? I guess I could take them to work and give them to people and be nice. Like, here's some uh, slightly stale scones. I'm definitely gonna eat, oh, that's a big boy. I'm gonna eat one though. I'm starving. And um, I just need some bread in my life. I need some carbs in my life. You know, I just, sometimes you just need a scone. <laughs> what? <laughs> they didn't have a lot of choice either. And Caitlin had a free cookie. I got all the free food. None of it is pro protein rich though. I was going to be sensible sensible, and get a like seven grains sprouted wheat bagel or whatever. It has like nine grams of protein in it. And then fat free cream cheese, right? They didn't have it. So now I have a scone. That escalated very quickly. Mm -hmm. I'm so hungry. But, um, you know, at lunch, I had a bunch of cucumbers with some hummus, hummus. And I was like, I don't know if I was just that hungry or if cucumbers are just that good but like the way i was eating those cucumbers was like a piece of cake i was like oh my god this feels so good <laughs> and they were cucumbers so maybe i'm gonna be on a cucumber kick i think i'm gonna buy some and some hummus for lunch next week i'm in eye contact with this guy he knows i'm vlogging oh well the best combo take a bite mm. take a sip wish it was hot though mm. 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 this is the best thing i've put in my mouth since those cucumbers earlier today Spoiler, I haven't eaten since those cucumbers today. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go home, play with them dogs, relax for a moment. I'm making a mess. I'm getting crumbs everywhere. I don't appreciate it. I've been so hungry because you know, the shark thing. Ugh, it feels so good to be eating something dense like that, you know, because I've been living off of rice cakes and I'm a carby girl, okay? I love carbs, obviously, but carbs can be worked into your diet. This can be worked into my diet. I'm probably going to be closer to maintenance today than I am on my cut. I don't know. I'll have to do some math, some some figuring, some numbers. But how hungry I am in this moment. And that's my bad for getting this hungry. This is 100% worth the calorie. <laughs> 
was just so dense, you know? Mm. Oh, also, I just want to say that this was actively a choice I made to eat this. I could have just been like, can I have a refund? But I actively chose to not lose weight today. I'm not making any excuses for it. Tomorrow is another day. Damn, that's so good. I'm going to die tomorrow if I'm two pounds lighter. <laughs> It's like, wow, body way to reinforce a bad diet. <laughs> um, also, what was that? Oh, also, I had the thought of sitting here and eating all the scones because I could do that. And that is something I would have done. I would have just not told Caitlin about any of it and I would have ate four scones. I don't even know how I fit all those into my belly. Here is dinner. We have six ounce sirloin with some sweet kale salad and some air fried cauliflower. Keeping it really simple. I logged everything and I'm at 2200 calories. So I'm over my calories by like a hundred and something, which isn't horrible, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm okay with that. Cause like I was so hungry. The next day. Going to work and it's Friday. Friday fun drink day. Friday night yeah. dinner and we're having like a takeout picnic. Kate has some yummy nachos, which I almost got, but then I decided, you know, I kind of want to stick with my diet. This is uh, 700 and something calories with over 60 grams of protein. I did half rice, half vegetables, teriyaki chicken, and then steak and an unsweet tea. Good morning. I just woke up. It's Saturday. It's... 6.30. <sighs> I'm up so early because it's Mother Day's, Mother's Day weekend and to get the gym in, we got to do it early. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm going to wake Kate up at 7 and then we're going to go to Panera, eat breakfast, and then go to the gym. Um, Kate's dad is going to come look at the mower today because I officially have exhausted all options. Weighed in this morning at 297, so I'm up a little bit, but I'm also <clears throat> late for the shark. Like it should be, it's coming guys. It, it's, it's on its way. So uh, I'm not too worried about it. This week felt like a year. <laughs> it felt like the longest week of my life. Uh, I have two weeks of school left. So one more weekend until summer, which is so awesome. So uh, next week is either gonna be fast, like super fast or super slow. But anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here so I can start the next vlog. <laughs> um, but I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, and if you're not subscribed yet, what you waiting for? But until next time, friends, be kind to yourself. Bye.